All right, lovelies, I did it again. I got sucked into the scents, and today I'm gonna share with you all of my thoughts about this set right here. This is from Eccentric Molecules. This is the Fragrance Discovery Set. So we have 10, 10 fragrances, and I'm gonna dive into all of them, how I heard about this brand, and all of my thoughts on every single scent in here. And it's not quite what I thought. It's not quite what I thought when I bought this kit and I'm gonna give you all the details on that. But if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. We're gonna dive into this. If you haven't been here to my channel before, welcome. Not only am I a hair and makeup artist, but I am a fragrance enthusiast. I just can't get enough and this has definitely been one of those years where I've tiptoed even deeper into the waters. I Not even tiptoed, I've plunged. Y'all, I've just plunged. We, we took a cannonball, not even a graceful swan dive. It was a cannonball into the world of fragrance. So before we get into the details of all the fragrances, I just wanna give you the details on the kit itself. So this I picked up from Lucky Scent, and I just have to say, this was my first order from Lucky Scent, and I was truly happy with their customer service. So I definitely recommend you checking them out. I will have their website linked down below as well, in case you do wanna check them out. But let's talk a little bit about this set. So you do have 10 cents in here, and the set is $50. So really, I feel like that's a pretty good price. You do get two mils of each fragrance, and for $50, I think that's pretty decent. And they do all come in individual boxes. So let's say you and a friend wanted to like split a set, or I don't know, let's say you're gonna have like a little scent sniffing party one night. It's just nice that they're all like so individually packaged, everybody could like take one of their faves. I would love to sit down with some other scent loving friends and just like yammer on about scents and fragrances and what we love and what we don't and what we think about each one. That would be a lot of fun. So then every Everybody could have like a little like parting gift as well. So now that I have the details of the set out of the way, I just want to sort of give you a little history on how I found this brand. And it really all came about when I got my commodity set because I was like trying out all those fragrances, sharing them with Jeremy. And a lot of times Isui Super was talked about, especially in the personal spaces. And I was like, okay, what is this? Like, I don't even know what this is. And you know, I don't necessarily like, I wasn't like super concerned, but Jeremy was like, you know, what is that? What is that even? <laughs> like, they t everybody talks about this like skin scent. He's like, it's not like real skin, right? Like, what is this? And I was, so I started to do like a deep dive into it. And it's essentially, no pun intended there, it's a created fragrance molecule. And so when I was researching Isoe Super, right away, Eccentric Molecules Molecule One came up because that's what it is. It's like pure Isoe Super fragrance. And so I was really curious. I started like looking into it and I was like, hmm, that sounds so good. So then I was like doing this deep dive. I found on Lucky Scent that they had the sampler and I was like, all right, why buy one sample when you can buy 10? <laughs> So that's what I did. So uh, just know going into this that that is the only fragrance in here that I knew what the scent was. I really didn't wanna know as I was going through and trying these all out, like what it was. I didn't wanna know much about it because I just really wanted to do like a blind sampling. So now as we go through and I'm giving you the description of each of these scents, you're going to find out with me other than Molecule One, which each was. So we'll definitely go into that. Now, just a little background on this set. So you have five of the molecules. So that is gonna be like more of the pure form of each of the scent molecules. And then you have the eccentric scents and those are more of a blend. So I was really excited to try this box because you have a set of single solitary scent notes and then you have the blend. So I was like, ooh, this is gonna be a really great way to try out something that maybe I could personalize a scent with or just new scents that I might really love. Okay, so let's dive into these scents. Now, I do want to say that I have tried on almost all of these scents and I'll get into that in a moment, but this isn't just like a sniff test on a like test strip. I have worn these for several days each. I wrote down notes so that I could give you my thoughts. So what I'm gonna do is I will read the description of the scent and then I will give you my thoughts on it. So let's go ahead and dive in. We're gonna go uh, molecule and then eccentric blend through one through five. I'm going to try to keep this fairly succinct since we do have 10 cents to go into, but I also wanna give you my full and complete thoughts. All right, so let's start off by looking at molecule one. I am gonna read to you the descriptions off of the eccentric molecules website. So molecule one can 
consist of the molecule Isoe Super Pure and Singular. Isoe Super is a molecule that hovers close to the skin to create an indefinable aura around the wearer. It's characterized by a hypermodern cedarwood note with a velvety sensation. Perfumer Geza Zowin explains its allure. Isoe Super is one of those skin sexy scents that makes you want to nestle into it. It's comforting and cocooning. So I would definitely say that that's exactly like what this scent is. It is like, it's a little bit papery, but it's also just cozy. It really makes me think of putting on a clean, fluffy, cozy, soft sweater and just like nestling up, like getting out of the shower, putting on your favorite like soft, fluffy sweater. Yeah, this one is like, it's clean. It really is almost like crisp winter air meets cozy laundry, but not like fabric softenery, like that like clean skin, slightly papery. So definitely now, like if you have ever tried the commodity scents that I've talked about and I talk about those like papery notes or in the personal scent spaces where it's just that like whisper, a lot of times it's because they've mixed in more Isoe Super to give it that like very soft airy note. This is so good, it is really so good. I will say that I feel like this doesn't have a really long wear on the skin, but it could also be that it's just so like skin-like and airy that eventually I just become nose blind to it. But honestly, I feel like you get about four to maybe five hours out of it, but I really think that it was like around the four hour for me. Okay, so now let's get into the eccentric O1. So the top notes of this are lime, pink pepper, and aldehydes. The heart is orris and hedione, which is green jasmine bud. And then you have the base of Isoe Super, Incense, Mastic, and Muscone, which is musk. So in reading those notes, I would think that this is going to be a lot more like rich, but like fresh at the beginning. And you know what? Like I definitely, now that I know that there's pink pepper in here, I definitely get that. So my initial reaction notes on this were that it's more woodsy and fresh than Molecule One and almost like a little bit powdery, which I bet I'm getting from that like Jasmine but it's, it's definitely a little bit more woody. It definitely smells a little bit more woody, but now I'm getting that incense that's in there and I definitely get the pink pepper at the beginning. Like when you first spray this on, you get that like citrus from the lime and you get the pink pepper. So when um, I was having Jeremy smell it, he said like, he's like, you just smell it at the front of your nose. <laughs> Like, and I think that that's where that like lime and pink pepper comes in. It's really strong at the beginning, but it does like dry down to like a, the smell so good. It's like, it's still cozy, but it's cozy with a little like je ne sais quoi. Like, mm, it's, it sort of is like what I would think a distinguished professor would wear. I don't, I don't know. I don't know where I just came up with that, but that's what I'm gonna say on that one. I really do like this one. All right, molecule two. So this consists of the molecule ambroxan, pure and single. So eccentric molecule says that ambroxan has a subtle sensual quality with a radiant long lasting dry down. So this has a chemical structure identical to the ambrox derived from ambergris. And it says that for centuries, ambergris was perhaps the most prized ingredient in perfumery. So get this. It says that it's a somewhat mysterious substance expelled by the sperm whale that only attains its fine scent after a long maturation floating in the ocean. Ambergris is rarely found these days, and the amber in a modern fragrance will be a lab-created equivalent of some of the aroma molecules that make up its scent. By far, the finest of these is the nature-identical molecule ambroxan. The more you know... Okay, so ambergris was always valued for its refinement as well as its sensuality. So I guess it's said to have a fresh, almost mineral quality. All right. Ooh. So my initial scent notes were that it's woody, like dry amber, like, I can't believe I wrote this, like rosining a violin bow on an airy day. It's totally, it's totally what like gives me that vibe. Like I played violin for a while. It just gives me that like, that scent. Mm -hmm. It's definitely still woody, but it has that like slightly more mysterious scent. It smells very good. It's light, but it smells really good. It's like a little sexier, still cozy and not quite as airy 
as Isui Super. Okay, this is really interesting. So they say that Eccentric 2 has a formula designed to amplify the mineral notes uh, of Ambroxan. So like a gin and tonic accord and a hint of the Austrian lemonade called Alm Dudler. There you go. So let's look at the notes. So this is said to have Alm Dudler, Alm Dudler? Juniper berry, mandarin, lime, and bergamot. So you hear like that very like fresh kind of citrusy vibe. The heart is ginger, freesia, clary sage, pink pepper, hedione, and orris. And then the base is musk, ambroxan, vetiver, and tonka. All right, let's pick up eccentric too. I definitely get the more like herbal, like gin and tonic -y vibe from the eccentric too. This definitely has, yes, I can get the lime, I get the bergamot from this, whereas this one, it's much lighter in scent, I will say. And I saw that Eccentric Molecules says, like, if you feel like the molecule scents are, like, not as much projection as you like, that you might like the Eccentric ones better. I definitely get this more, but I feel like I liked the scent of this more. There's just something... You have to like a very green, woody scent to like this, which I do really like, but I feel like, I feel like this loses a little bit of the coziness and it's more bright and fresh. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but like, yeah, I definitely get more of that like freshness, like citrus, but also like naked skin. So my eccentric two notes were soft wood and resin, shaving cream, but the dry down is animalistic. Take that for what you will. Yeah, like I said, you get that like freshness. I didn't, I didn't get as much of the citrus the first time. And it definitely makes sense because now that I've had this scent on the paper for a while, that like top like citrus punch in your face is gone and you definitely get just a little bit more of that like soft, cozy, sexy vibe. All right, molecule three is vetiveral acetate. So this is a fraction of vetiver oil distilled from the roots of an Indian grass, which is then crossed with acetic acid to remove the bitter and leathery aspects of the root. The result is an elegant and refined molecule with the woodsy, slightly grassy character of vetiver, but far smoother and softer. So it says acetylation also brings out the grapefruit touch in vetiver. So it gives it more of a bitter, fresh top note. That's very interesting. Okay, so for molecule three, my initial notes were that it smelled like pepper in the air, but on the skin, it smelled like camphor and pepper. Oh, I remember that because I thought like, hmm, this kind of smells good, but like when I think, nope, I actually even get it now. Like, cause I think I had Jeremy put this one on. Cause I was like, I don't think I can do it. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. So it softened on the dry down, but it was still sharp on the nose. Like literally right now, this just feels like I have freshly cracked like green peppercorn and Vicks VapoRub. I do not, I, I can't get down with this one. So Eccentric 3 focuses on vetiviral acetate in a formula that pays tribute to the three roots used in perfumery, vetiver, ginger, and orris. So by the way, orris is extracted from the roots of the Florentine iris, in case you were curious. I love like how like deep divey they get in these scent descriptions. So ginger dominates the top note, which is vibrant green and spicy with lime peel and green peppercorn. The heart is rich velvety orris with Egyptian jasmine and tea notes. Then the dry down emphasizes the dark green woodiness of vetiver together with sandalwood, cedar, mellow balsams, and musk. So really quickly, because I feel like it basically gave you all the notes there. The top is listed as green notes, lime, mandarin, pink pepper, black pepper, and ginger. The heart is freesia, rose, I don't get rose at all. Green jasmine bud, which is hedione, but I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. So I'm just gonna say green jasmine bud. Jasmine, orris, cinnamon, and tonka. I definitely don't get cinnamon either. The base is vetiver, sandalwood, isoe super, leather, musk, amber, costas. So let's go ahead and smell eccentric three. Hmm. Okay. I definitely remember liking this one better. Let me see what my notes say. So this, I said that it's more balanced, but it's still spicy with some citrus. And it reminds me of an old classic, like deep cologne. Yeah. Like a classic cologne. I don't, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> like I definitely just get that. Like, mm -hmm. just reminds me of something I would have smelled in a department store, not in a bad way, like better, more refined, but like like something I would have smelled in a department store when I was little. Yeah. So this is so interesting because I have always enjoyed a lot of scents that say that they have vetiver in them. 
but now I'm kind of like, do I really like it though? Like if it smells that peppery to me, like even the uh, Molecule 3, which is just the vetiver itself, like it's so, it's so like peppery. Like I'm gonna have to pay attention to that more because maybe I should like stay away from vetiver. All right, Molecule 4. So this is Javanol, pure and singular. Javanol is a sandalwood type molecule that retains the radiance and endurance of natural sandalwood, but is sheer and transparent like no sandalwood in nature. So uh, the perfumer says that it smells as if a liquid metallic grapefruit peel were poured over a bed of velvety cream colored roses. Okay. So uh, this is said to come and go just like Isui Super does, that the person wearing it loses the ability to smell it after a short while, only to reconnect with it later. That's really interesting because maybe that's what's happening with me with Molecule 1. So let's go ahead and smell this one. Mm, I like this one. This, this might be my favorite. This might be my favorite. It's creamy but still woodsy, which to me is like that sandalwood vibe, right? Like it's woody, but creamy. I just said that and now I just said it in the reverse. This, this smells good. It, this smells more like sexy, oiled up skin. Okay, I think I said both like Molecule 1 and Molecule 2 have like sexy skin scents, but to me, Molecule 1 is like freshly showered, soapy sexy skin molecule two is like clean skin that's been in the sun and is slightly warm and then <laughs> molecule four is like clean yet lotioned or oiled up skin <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying but it's definitely creamy sexy skin i i really like it Okay, so what I said initially in my scent notes was powdery skin, but updated, a bit creamy and green. I mean, I don't know. I didn't put oiled up skin on here. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's go ahead and look at eccentric form. So it says that this one is focusing on the grapefruit accent in this molecule. The result is a uniquely fresh interpretation of a sandalwood fragrance, fizzing with crisp, bitter top notes of pink grapefruit peel with the added zest of lime, juniper, and pink pepper to give it an extra shot of freshness, and marijuana brings out the softer quality of the grapefruit pith. So the heart is orris with a fresh soft rose composed of four different rose ingredients and the dry down is balsamic and woody with javanol in combination with the somewhat sweeter sandalwood molecule polysantol. Polysantol. Hmm. All right, these notes. So the top notes are methyl pomplamoose, which is grapefruit by the way, pink grapefruit, marijuana, bergamot, juniper berry, pink pepper. The heart is green jasmine bud, freesia, Osmanthus, Oris, and Rose, and the base is Javanol, Mastic, Labdanum, Isui Super, Musk, and Ambroxan. Yeah, this has definitely more of that citrusy vibe. It it doesn't have it doesn't have the sexiness, the creaminess that the molecule itself does. This definitely brings out more of the citrus vibe of it. It's still really nice. So now knowing, now knowing, it's really interesting because my notes were that I smell orange and bergamot in a wooden crate in the sun, which it's not orange, it's actually grapefruit, but kind of the same thing. And then it dries down a bit more herbal. So I like it. If you like a citrus scent and you want something that's not like punch you in the face citrus, but you want like that like creamy citrus, and I don't mean like creamsicle, but like, you know, a little softer citrus, this is really nice. Okay, so now we're gonna go into Molecule and Eccentric 5. So if you could see here, I have all of these papers out and I've sprayed all of them other than the Molecule 5 because I'm not a fan, but we're gonna go into it right now. And I just didn't want the scent like wafting through the room. So I'm really quickly going to spray them and then we'll talk about it. Okay, so molecule five is cashmeran. Cashmeran has an unusually complex character for a single molecule. It combines a cocooning musky softness with dry aromatic woodiness and a sweet resinous pine note. Hmm. So <laughs> all I put, where did I put it? Okay, I'm gonna smell it. Mm-hmm, mm-mm. All I wrote was peppery, 
a little moldy, not a fan. <laughs> That's it. That's all I put. I, I could never put this one on. I couldn't put it on. It honestly smells like mold. It smells moldy to me. It smells like mold. I can't like, you know, it's like that. It's like a, like something has gotten moldy, but it's not rotted. You know, that like green, but dry mold. That's what this smells like. I, I can't, I couldn't put it on. I think I, mm -mm, there's no way, there's no way that that's going to change that much on the skin that I'm ever going to want to wear that. All right. So eccentric five. So this says that cashmeran is dry, radiant, warm, and woody with an unexpected touch of pine resin. That gave me the idea of creating a different kind of summer fragrance. I wanted to evoke what it was like to be by the sea, but not by using the usual marine notes, which I find too artificial. Instead, I wanted to recreate the experience of being on an island in the Mediterranean. Is the Mediterranean really moldy? I, I, I don't know. So the top note is very simple. Bergamot to keep things light and orange, an ingredient which has an emotional tone to it, bright and happy. It reflects the orange groves that cover the island. Laurel and rosemary are typically Mediterranean plants with a spicy freshness. Juniper brings a herbal tonality and cypress is a very dry pungent wood. The dry down has two classic Mediterranean ingredients, cystus labdanum and mastic. Mastic is a resin produced by a small tree that grows especially near the sea. It has the clean, sharp scent of newly cut branches. Cystus is a small plant that grows everywhere in the Mediterranean. It has a sweet, leathery, balsamic quality, which I love. This says, I also introduced a subtle fig, both the bitterness of the leaves and the ripeness of the fruit. Fig had to be there because there is a fig tree by our house on the island. Fig feels authentic to the place. It reminds me of the happiness of summer by the sea. That was a very long description. <laughs> so I'm just really quickly gonna run through the notes. The top is fig, bergamot, orange, rosemary, basil, and juniper. The heart is green jasmine bud, cypress, deconstructed florals of freesia, iris, and jasmine. I feel like a lot of these notes are similar in a lot of the scents. And then the base is cashmeran, cystus, labdanum, musk, ambroxan, mastic, and isoe super. So I'm gonna like go for this last scent. So eccentric five. Oh, this is so much better. It's so much better. Like Molecule 5, I, I, Molecule 5, I would give to an enemy to wear, but like Eccentric 5, actually, I feel like I need to give this to Jeremy to wear. You definitely get, you definitely get that citrus. Like my notes actually say spicy, woody, and orange, but fresh, not heavy. It's so funny that I can like really like the, <laughs> that I can really like the eccentric blend, but not like the molecule at all. Isn't that so weird? Hmm. It's just sort of like patchouli for me. Like I don't like patchouli on its own, but like patchouli in something gives it just enough like richness and earthiness that it can really like tie together a fragrance. So it's very interesting. Yeah, this one I really like. Okay, so I've run through all of the scents for you. I hope that that was helpful. Like maybe you found something that you're curious by. Maybe you're just curious about this whole experience. I do have to say for myself, for myself, I do really like, I like Molecule and Eccentric one, but I actually think that I like Eccentric even more than the Molecule, just because I think it like brings forth more of like that vibe of what Isoe Super is. Now with Molecule 2, I definitely like the molecule better. Cause like I said, this brings forth more of that creaminess. Like I just like that more like creamy Ambroxan versus the like, I don't know. This one is just a little too like citrusy for me. Now molecule three, mm-mm, mm-mm. I don't like it, Blech. Now with molecule three, I obviously wasn't a fan of that peppery note of the vetiver. It just really wasn't my vibe. But again, you know, it could be one of those things. It could be just like with molecule five with the cashmere like I didn't like it on its own, but like mixed in with all of those other things, it smelled really, really good. So it's just one of those things because like in the molecule, I don't like it. In, in the blend from eccentric, it's like better, but still not my favorite. But I'm wondering if it just brings enough like of that like punch to other fragrances that I like. I'm not sure because I do have a few fragrances that do have vetiver. I'm really surprised that I didn't like that one. But Molecule 4, this one was probably my favorite. Like, I feel like both Molecule 4 and Eccentric 4 were so nice. Like, I get more of that creamy, like I said, 
that creamy, like well-oiled skin out of Molecule 4, but that like warm, that warm orange scent that you get from Eccentric 4 is really nice. It's a little, I feel like the herbalness to it makes me, makes me feel like it's not something I would grab for a lot. That herbalness like makes me want Jeremy to wear it, but it's just not something that I feel like I would want to wear. It still smells very lovely though, but like I would definitely get down with the Molecule 4. Okay, so five, obviously I hated Molecule 5, but I really do like, I do really, I do really like Eccentric 5. Is that so weird? I feel like I would love Jeremy wearing this one. I'm gonna give him the sample of this one. It just smells so good. It's like so balanced. I do love fig. And so I'm wondering if like all of those things together just like all balanced out into something I like. So it's so interesting that a couple of these, I either like the singular note better and then I didn't like it when it was blended or vice versa. So hopefully my thoughts on that were helpful. I did wanna say here at the end, there is also the option to get Molecule One, which is that ISOE Super with three different scents added in. So if you're like, ooh, Molecule One sounds really great, that sort of like fresh air, clean skin vibe with one of these other notes. And that's what it is. It's more of like a singular note added in. So you have the option of doing Molecule One plus patchouli or plus iris or plus mandarin. So like the mandarin would be really, really interesting to me. I wanna read the notes on this because it just sounds so good. So here in the description, it says, Mandarin is all about the instant hit. It's so alive the way it radiates off the skin with that citrus zestiness. But there's more to Mandarin. It's very fruity and aromatic as well. It's a beautiful ingredient. Its transparency means that it vanishes quickly. I've touched it up with a little extra shading to extend it, adding a Mandarin ingredient used in flavorings to give it super juiciness. Then as it begins to fade, Molecule One sinks in, bringing a warm, erogenous feeling to play with that zinging freshness. That's unusual for a top note ingredient like Mandarin and a base note like Isui Super to dance together naked like this without other notes coming between them. And then the Mandarin is almost gone and you are left with the elevated simplicity of Molecule One. This just sounds so good as like a perk me up in the morning wake up scent, but like something that's not gonna be like too punch you in the face citrus as the day goes along. It really sounds lovely. I think that this scent house just, so like their tagline is art and chemistry. And I think that as we're going through and you hear the perfumer talking about like their inspiration, it's really interesting. Like I think that this is totally my vibe because it's sort of like nerding out into sense. And I really do think that this is a great way to explore a singular note that you could totally layer with other things. You could get more familiar with some of the notes and fragrances if you've always been kind of curious. But I do also like that there's blends here that, you know, sort of like give you a little bit more elevated scent story. So I've had a lot of fun with this one. Obviously there are a couple like strong no's in here for me. And there are a couple that I am really curious and might wanna pick up. I think that this has been a fun journey for me. And for $50, I really enjoyed this. So I will have the scent sampler linked down below. I will see where I can find it, but I really did have a great experience with Lucky Scent. And by the way, I do want to clarify, I did pay for this myself. I just really feel like I wanna share when I have a good customer service experience because that means a lot these days. There are a lot of retailers out there and I feel like customer service is one of the reasons we keep going back to the, some of the ones that we shop with. So that is it, lovelies. I hope you've enjoyed this. Have you tried anything from Eccentric Molecules? What do you enjoy? You'll have to let me know, especially if you disagree with some of my like scent notes here. <laughs> it's so interesting and it's such a personal preference. So, you know, keep that in mind. If maybe knowing some of my favorite fragrances would help you out, I will go ahead and have a couple Couple. I think I do have like a spring summer favorites and a fall and winter favorites. So I'll make sure to have those linked down below. But if you did enjoy this, if you love fragrance just as much as I do, don't forget to give this video a like. I will see you really soon.